That's right, it's Knitch Week! That's correct. We are getting, obviously, our, you know, Dendro DPS boy Knitch over in Genshin Impact version 5.0 as Phase 2 of 5.0. Now, I've been pretty excited for Knitch, but at the same time, I'm still on the fence for summoning for him. So today, we're going to be talking about if you should summon for him or... If you're a newer player, should you be summoning for Raiden Shogun? Now, of course, before we get into that, make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe button down below. And don't forget to also check out Gamer Subs right over here. Use code TYSTRA for 10% off. Y'all, I'm about to go to TwitchCon. You'll be seeing a video here in like, uh, I would say two days. That's going to be going out on the channel that talks more about it. Um, and Gamer Subs will be there. I will mainly be around that booth. So... You guys are going to be around. Come see me. Come say hi. I would love to meet some of y'all there. I know that this is going on YouTube and it's not Twitch, but I know there's a lot of like cross platforming around here. So, um, but yeah, also don't forget to check out uh, my boy, Stray My Cow, or just Stray. Stray does all of this wonderful work on these Dokkan Lo Fi playlists. Uh, if you're a fan of Dokkan or you just like Lo Fi music in general, he, uh, he covers it pretty, pretty well. Yeah. Uh, as you saw, I was struggling to put my mic back. I'm also very tired because I got to get ready to go on the plane here in less than as this one goes out, as this video goes out in like seven, eight hours. So let's go ahead and talk about the Kanich banner, okay? So first we're going to start off with Toma. Toma, uh, to me, improves almost every like new set of patches, right? Um, I was super like... I wanted him when he first started out and his shielding was just kind of okay after he released. And so I was kind of disappointed. I also get like my personality compared to Toma by my friends, which is kind of weird. But uh, lately, the more I see Toma, the more I really want to rebuild him because I think that his shields are actually really, really good. And especially now with Burn getting more and more like prevalent uh especially with the release of emily and now we got kanich as well which we'll get into here in a bit um i think that there's a good place for toma and toma definitely deserves to be on those burn teams as a shielder so if you are a new player and you haven't pulled toma yet this is a great chance to get him like i can't even i can't even say no again or against him like he's he's better than he used to be at least in my opinion right now, for the next two, we're going to switch over to the other banner with Raiden Shogun. And the reason why I'm doing Kujo Sara and Chevrus on this side is because these two are going to match up really, really well with Raiden Shogun. But first, let's talk about Kujo Sara. Kujo Sara is a support unit that's used for Raiden Shogun teams a good chunk of the time. Not every time, but a good chunk of the time. Her C6 is really, really good. Um, she's definitely one of those characters that I feel is underutilized within the Genshin community. Um... Although, like, again, you would use her in a lot of teams if you're using Raiden Shogun as the main DPS or even, like, a Yaimiko or someone like that. Um, plus, she's incredibly hot. I do like me some Kujo Sara. So, Kujo Sara is an upvote for me. Though, again, I have her C6. Same with Toma. So, for me, having these two on the banner is terrible for me because I already have them C6, right? Then, of course, we're also going to talk about Chevrus, right? So, Chevrus is a newer unit that came out in Fontaine. Uh, I believe it was 4.5 she came out. And uh, she's an overlord or overlord. <laughs> she's Einzelgone, you know. No, uh, she's an overload support unit. Does really, really well in teams that consist of two pyro and two electro. Now, the reason why I say she's better to be talked about on this side of the banner than on Kanich's banner is because of the fact that Raiden Shogun is normally going to be either the leader or the sub leader of that team for an electro pyro team or overload team so uh Chevrus pairing up with Raiden Shogun is very very good even if you don't want to like I guess I don't know what to say like, it's tough, because with Raiden Shogun, if you main her on the team, you can put Chevrus, you can put Jangling, and, the, and then you can put Kujo Sara, or you could even put uh, uh, Chevrus and Bennett and Kujo Sara, and that would just make literally Raiden Shogun the only person that's going to be doing damage for the most part on the team. So, to me, like, Chevrus is good, but she's very limited, very niche. Um, still very good, though. If you haven't pulled her yet, she's definitely worth it. Actually, you know what? Let's let's go. Let's just dive right into talking about Raiden Shogun and how good she is, guys. Raiden Shogun is still one of the best units in the game. Like, can we just can we just all agree on that? 
Like, she's extremely hot. We all know that. She can't cook, which is her downside. Um, but I can honestly tell you, nine times out of ten, if you're not using her as a main DPS, she's going to be a great off-field DPS for you. Especially with her E, because her E lasts for so long on your team uh, whenever you're switching in and out. Um, and then just getting that, like, I save her burst as, like, an emergency, like, damage burst. So, like, if I know that I'm low on HP at the moment, I'm about to take a heavy attack... Um, I'll switch into her and use her burst because nine times out of ten the burst is there uh, It's not to say that she's not worth it outside of that because she definitely is She's just really really good, but I use a lot of different DPS's and I use her mainly as a sub DPS She could be a sub DPS. She could be a battery support whatever you need her to do She's that dang good. Should you summon on her as a new player? Yes 100% you should be summoning on Raiden Shogun because of how good and useful she actually is, right? And then finally, let's talk about Kanich. Now, for me, we were talking about the burn teams, and I was very excited for burn, right? I'm very excited for the burn teams. Um, the thing is, is that I don't think that Kanich is going to be my go-to for a burn team, right? Now, I already have Emily, so I, I'm already working towards my burn team. I have Zhangling, I got Bennett, I got plenty of options to run this. I just don't think for me that Kanich is going to be the player. Now, granted, you could you could be sitting there and saying, I really, really want Kanich because he's going to be a strong Dendro DPS, and you'd be 100% right. And you would absolutely be understood for why you want to go for him. I'm mainly talking about myself. But if you are thinking about going for Kanich, like, he's definitely worth it. You know, he's going to have a high amount of Dendro DPS from what I've seen in the beta tests. Like, he performed really, really well. So... I'm just saying, if you do summon on these banners and you're going for Kanich and Raiden Shogun, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be bad doing that. Like Kanich is a great like on field DPS, and then you could pair him with Raiden Shogun. Honestly, you could probably assemble a team of sorts right here between using Overload Overload and Bergeron. The only downside is you wouldn't be using Chevrus because it's not the two and two. Um But I'm gonna say this: if you're gonna summon on one of these two banners, I would say Raiden Shogun personally. Because Raiden Shogun's got, like, proof, has been proven over tests of time that she's still one of the most meta units in the game. Kanich will probably be good. Especially after beta tests, like, said that he was good. I believe that the beta tests will say that he's good. They're not always 100% right. But I think that usually on DP DPSs, they've been pretty accurate. Um, overall, like, I'm going to skip Kanich, and I wouldn't blame anybody for skipping, especially with uh, Zalone and right on the horizon right and she looks really really good too so and that's gonna be it for today's video basically what i'm telling you is summon for raiden if you got to choose one of the two if you want both go for both that's fine if you want to go for kanich that's fine too but i would say save your gems if you own if you have raiden shogun and you're thinking about going for kanich so that's just me anyways like comment subscribe let me know what you think y'all sorry if it seems i'm a bit more down mood uh very tired got stuff to do and all that so i might just head to bed early tonight just so i can get up record one more video before i head out do my dailies and be on my merry way so anyways y'all that's gonna be it love you to death and as always we will catch you in that next video please take care and be safe